see your hair out here. Oh, it's impossible to be in there. It's so hot. Around here it doesn't cool down until dawn. My mother was from a place with beautiful trees. A fertile place. Such a happy person. But she wasted away here. Oh, it was fate. Like we all waste away here. Feel the heat from the walls. Ow! Don't pull so hard. But, oh, it's so I can get this wave to sit right. I want it to fall over the front. Oh, how lovely you are. Just carry on brushing. What happiness that you are going to embrace a man, going to kiss a man, going to feel his weight. Shh! And the best bit is that when you wake up, you'll feel him beside you and his breath tickles your arm. Oh, it's like the feather of a nightingale. Would you like to shut up? But my child, a wedding. What is it? A wedding is that and nothing more. It's tea and cakes, a bunch of flowers. No. It's a dazzling bright bed and a man and a woman. But you don't have to say it. That's another thing. It's great fun. <laughs> or great bitterness. I am going to place orange blossoms from here to here. And it will be a bright crown on top of your hair. Bring them over. Here. Oh, what is this? Leave me. Oh, this isn't the time to be sad. Shadows throwing these around is asking for trouble. Lift up your head. Come on. Don't you want to be married? You can still say no. It's just nerves. A little upset inside. Who wouldn't be? You do love your fiancé. I love him. Yes. Yes, I'm sure of it. But this is a very big step. Well, one you must take. Well, I've already committed. I'm going to place the crown. Make it quick. They must be about to arrive. Oh, they'll be at least two hours yet. How far is it to the church? Oh, five miles by the stream. Double that if you take the path. Oh. The bride awakes the morning of her wedding. How the rivers of the world will carry her crown. Let's go. That she awakes with the green branch of the flowering laurel. That she awakes by the trunk and branch of the laurel tree. Open it. It must be the first guest. Me. Good morning. Oh, the first. Was I not invited? Yes. And so I've come. And your wife? I came on horse. She has taken the part. And you met no one? I passed them on the way. You'll kill that horse with all its riding. Well, when it dies, then it's dead. Sit down. No one up yet. And the bride? Oh, well, I'm going to dress her right now. The bride. That'll make her happy. And the boy? Which boy? Oh, your son. Ah. Oh. Is he coming? No. The bride awakens the morning of her wedding. The bride awakens the morning of the wedding. So that's the guests. They're still a long way off. The bride wears a great crown, though. Don't let it be too big. A little smaller will suit her better. But does the groom wear the orange blossoms that he will put on her breast? I wear them. Don't come out here. Oh, well, what will happen? Why do you ask if he brings the blossoms? What do you mean by it? Nothing. What meaning could it have? You know me, and no, I mean nothing. Tell me, what have I been to you? Well, let me refresh your memory. 
but my two oxen and a bad shack are virtually nothing. That's the kick in the guts. Why did you come? Well, to see your wedding. Like I saw yours. It's as if you tied me up with your own two hands. They might kill me, but they wouldn't spit on me. But the money they gave, that still shines. That spits on me. Liar. I don't want to talk about it because I'm a man of flesh and blood. I don't want the hills to hear my shouts. My screams would be louder. Oh, this can't go on. You can forget the past. You're right. I don't have to talk to you. But how dare you come and criticise my wedding and ask me questions about orange blossoms. Go and wait for your wife at the door. What, you and I can't talk? No, you can't talk. After my wedding, I thought day and night about who was to blame. And every time I thought about it, some new fault led up the one before it. But always there is blame. A man with a horse knows so much and can do so much to crush a girl stuck in the desert. But I have pride. That's why I marry. And I will settle down and I will love my husband above all else. I will serve you for nothing. Don't you go near her! To hold our tongues and burn up inside is the worst punishment we can have. What use is my pride when I can't see you and I know you are there, asleep, night after night? Nothing. All it does is bring me up more. Because you believe that time heals all and the walls hide all. And it's not true. It's not true. When things are so deep in here, there is no one that can tear them out. I can't hear you. I can't hear your voice. It's as if I have drunk in a whole bottle of spirits. And now I am asleep on a bed of roses. And it carries me along. And I know it suffocates me. But I go on anyway. You have got to leave right now. This is the last time I will speak with her. Have no fear. And I know I'm a little crazy and my heart can't stand it. But it gives me peace to hear you say it. To see you standing there, shaking. I wouldn't be at peace if I hadn't told you these things. I am married. Now, you get married. She will be married. The bride awakens, the morning of the way. The bride awakens. The people are here now. Don't you ever go near her again. <laughs> I believe.